23 minutes uh, past 10. The Bath and West show then continues through the rain today. Thousands uh, more of you from uh, expected to turn up from Wiltshire. Uh, another unexpected sight today as well. Uh, there's a bee tent. Now, there's lots of honey, of course, and beeswax candles and pots of wildflowers, but sandwiched in the middle is a table of microscopes. Alan Potter is Managing Director of Brunel Microscopes, based in Chippenham, and he spoke to our Marie Lennon about why they were there. Honeybees, unfortunately, get a lot of diseases which are causing what is called colony collapse, so that uh, all, whole colonies of bees, hives, just slowly uh, disappear and die. And that's because they're fighting diseases. They're fighting a lot of modern things as well. And to sort out the diseases that bees get, you need a microscope. This part of your business, working with beekeepers, did that come because they came to you or did you see that they would need your help? No, they came to me. I was a microscopist and had a microscopy business and then slowly I realised that beekeepers were seeking help in that direction. Tell me what we've got here and what's significant about it. These are little varroa mites which uh, live on bees and they only live on bees and they actually suck some of the fluid out of the bees and uh, it weakens the bee. Uh, and eventually could actually kill the bee. And this is quite a problem at the moment. And some beekeep beekeepers are working on trying to produce a breed of bee that can be resistant to these uh, mites. And they're about one millimetre in diameter. You can almost see them with the naked eye, but you do need a microscope to be sure that's what you're dealing with. For some people, it would be quite unexpected to see a Wiltshire businessman who has a very specific niche of their business, but also becoming an expert on bees. Now, I'm not sure I'm an expert on bees, but I'm an expert on knowing what beekeepers need from the point of view of microscopes to carry out their, uh, their activity. Uh, it, it is quite worrying that the bee population is in difficulty, and it's something that has to be sorted out. And indeed, the government has invested quite a lot of money in trying to identify exactly what the root cause is. Bee disease play a part. So this microscope, what will this one be used for? This one will be looking at whole objects. There are basically two types of microscopes. Those that look at whole objects, you can imagine that if you're looking at a whole honeybee, you couldn't put that on a microscope slide with light coming up through it because it would put, the, put itself in the shade. So you have to have a low power microscope. It only magnifies quite a low magnification, about times 20, times 30, to look at the whole bee, to do a dissection, to see what's going on inside the bee. So there's two types. There's a low power microscope called a stereo microscope and a high power microscope that will magnify up to times a thousand, which will see bacteria, and those are called compound microscopes. And how is business going? I mean, tell me a bit about Brunel Microscopes. We started in 1986 um, simply because a friend of mine knew that I worked in a path lab, as I did at that time, and asked me where he could buy a microscope for his son. And to cut a long story short, eventually I found one and I imported it from as far away as Czechoslovakia, gave it to my friend's son as a Christmas present, and after that his friend's friend said, could I buy him one and so on. And that was in 1986, and now we have a business that employs nine members of staff and we sell microscopes.